Welcome to Retro Dailies, a car show that says you could and should use a retro car every day. I'm Liam Carter and we're going to go meet Daryl in his Vauxhall Viva. Right, okay then, so I'm here with Daryl um, and this is his Vauxhall Viva. It's nice to meet you Daryl. And you. All right. right, so let's talk us through this stunning car. It's a Vauxhall Viva, we've um, owned it about two years now. You could have had any car, why Why this? Um, well, my dad's first car was a two-door version of that. Um, and he's owned a couple of Francis, like, which is a big bay version. Um, so they've always just like appealed to me. What other modifications have you done to it? I've uh, done quite a few bits. It's got twin headlights, they originally came with square headlights. Right. Um, I did 55 Chevy door mirrors. Um, BMW rear springs to give it a bit of a rake. The freshly painted ghost flames. Drilled holes in the skull. <laughs> Wired them up to my brake lights. So this is a, a 1256 uh, Chevette engine. Um, originally it was a 1159 uh, Viva engine obviously, mm -hmm. but um, at some point in its life um, with the previous owner he swapped it to the, the Chevette engine. Yep. Um, technically it's 1.3, um, so a bit more powerful than the original but still um, small enough for a learner driver. <laughs> <laughs> Have you done anything physically to the, this specific engine itself? It was really out of tune when I had it. So just a bit of carb tuning and <laughs> planning for a V8 conversion for it at yep. some point in the future. Um, obviously you've got loads of room here. Yeah. Um, you can remove this panel and move the radiator back so that gives you even more room. Yep. Um, what kind of uh, V8 did you want to get? Um, I was looking into Rover V8s from yep. like the P6s and the SD1s. Yep. Um, but the rare is hen hen's teeth now, so yeah. um, looking into like a Chevy small block, um, which you can buy brand new from Crate Engines. About 700 kilos, the old car. So. It weighs nothing, does yeah. it? Um, it has got a straight through exhaust, but um, replaced the, the back box of Cherry Bomb. I noticed there were oil plates in the window. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, I'm still a on provisional license. Yep. Um, so I do have to carry my co-driver, my dad, around with me. Um, I've been driving a few years now, um, about two years, but it is cheaper to insure. Um, 300 quid a year, but the second I pass it will go up to over a grand. Yeah. So while you're at uni, it's going to obviously stay yeah. like this. Yeah, yeah. No, that's hey, that's one way to another way to fight the system. Yeah. Dad's come along too. Nice to meet you, Darren. Hi, mate. Here, right. Wow, this is really this is tighter than the Cortina. <laughs> is this as far back as it will go? Um, I think so. I might go back a little bit more. No, I, I think I feel better that it's actually a bit. <laughs> um, it is a bit tighter. Let me check choke levers there so do love a good choke lever yeah forgot about chokes actually old school yeah <laughs> so you've got the same gear knob as uh, daily i have yours is actually in much yeah. better quality <laughs> yeah it's a bit more now you can see i've had this on for a few years it was all nice and shiny red <laughs> <laughs> so um, uh just help me through this starting scheme so i built my own custom center console mm -hmm. adding in these switches uh, mm -hmm. push start system that activates your battery and yep that light, mm -hmm. um, that's to start it, 
but pressing that does nothing unless you've got the key. So yeah, got my key there, and that's got to be on. So and this is the accessories. So yeah. wipers, indicators, the lot. What, what are the two on the outside? Um, that one's doing nothing at the moment. Yeah. Um, and this one's an electric fan. See. Ah. I don't know if you heard it start then, but. <laughs> it strips that again. It starts really easy. Yeah. It does start really nice. So, you just got your, your um, Unigran. Yeah. And you come on, you come on with this. I mean, what? What, what do your parents say when you just turn up with like, it, instead of like a trolley full of alcohol, which is what a normal uni student would fill there, uh, would uh, you spend their uni money on? You come home with a Vauxhall Viva. One of your parents said, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> one of them. The other parent wasn't too pleased. <laughs> Driving this car on a daily basis, yeah. um, why why an older retro car? Why not a, a new car? Um, well, being a learner, it's much cheaper for a start to insure and run. Mm -hmm. uh, you can fill the tank for about 30 quid. Yep. Uh, so, uh, dead run on lead additive as well. Mm -hmm. um, but um, I've converted it with an inline lead filter. Mm -hmm. So, um, that sort of does the job for you. So it's just nice and cheap uh, to run. Insurance, let's say 300 quid. Can't complain at my <laughs> age, so. No, definitely not. Yeah. I had insurance quotes on modern cars. Yeah. They want about four grand. It's daft, isn't it? Yeah. Just because my age range. Um, yeah, modern cars, they want a couple of grand, that's 300 quid, so. Yeah. Happy days, yeah. When as long as you have your own personal co driver. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I've been co driver, my dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, it's in comfy back there. Have you sat in the back before of this thing? You're not going along the road, no. <laughs> Only when we were fitting the seats, but... Yes, yeah, it's, it's alright, really. Yeah, nice and comfy, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It's I feel quite safe when they're driving now. Yeah. You're driving through sort of traffic, and... Um, when I first got the car, it was horrible. It had bits falling off it everywhere, but didn't put us off. The previous owner said, like, the headline in had fell out, and this doesn't work, this doesn't work. Will you be taking your driving test in this? Um, well, because you can do, can't you? I have looked into that, but um, not allowed. You're not allowed You're anymore. Not allowed, uh, health and it? safety. Yeah. You, you've got to have headrests, airbags, the lot, post oh. What kind of experiences have you had, and you feel like you can do confidently now? Um, now that you've had it. Better everything, really. Never really touched a car before this. No. Kind of learned so, basic mechanics, haven't you? Really? Yeah. Welding, welding skills and bodywork skills. First time welding on the back door handles. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, so that's the first time you've ever welded? First time I've welded it. That's awesome. I can't believe this is your first car. <laughs> My first car was a Rover 25. Yeah. You know, I'm not bitter, I'm not jealous. <laughs> oh, I'm jealous. Oh, I'm bitter. How much power does it make? Do you know, roughly? That 1.3 engine, do you think it's, think it's, it's about 80 horsepower? About 80 horsepower? Something like that. It's, yeah. not, it's yeah. not a great deal. <laughs> it's, enough, it's enough for while he's yeah. learning. In, enough for a 700 kilogram car. Yeah. Have a look in there. <laughs> <laughs> Got the Haynes manual. <laughs> Is that the original Haynes manual? Um, I think so. It says one of the original ones, yeah. <laughs> Might say in there. Haynes manual of use, useful. <laughs> ever get sick of people staring at it? Um, I don't think it ever gets old, but... Um, um, One time it's a bit of a pain, it's like, you've got to get into four quarters in you and you go through the rush. Yeah, yeah. You've got to some people around the car. Yeah. yeah. You can't get anywhere in a hurry, because everyone's coming up to you saying how they used to in one, or how the dad used to in one. Yeah. So, uh, that was our little drive out with uh, Daryl and Darren. And I'd like to say, first of all, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. Uh, it's been a great pleasure. <laughs>
sure if they are legal, but they're mainly for show use. I've got the, the standard L plates behind. Yeah. Is it matte black or matte black? Bet both. They're the originals, they got burnt out by the household wiring. <laughs> so these are just the temporary measure.